Hey guys, Ghost here. Today we're going to be going over the top 5 things to help improve your Twitch stream. If you want to see more content like this, remember to like and subscribe and stick around because we're going to get right into it. Alright guys, these are going to be 5 tips that are going to help you out with your stream quality. These tips are not necessarily in any order, but they are all important in their own way, so be sure to pay attention. Let's start out with tip number one. Tip number one is going to be get a webcam. I know there's exceptions to this rule and there are some streamers who are very successful without a webcam, but as a small streamer, you want to use every advantage you possibly have to engage with the viewers. You can pick up something like the Logitech C920 for around $50 and it's a really good entry level camera to get into streaming. For tip number two, stream in the proper resolution. To change this, you have to go to the cogwheel on the bottom left of Streamlabs OBS click on it and then go to video. There'll be an output scaled resolution and you can click on that and change it. Set it for what your computer can handle. In my case, I can handle 1920 by 1080. For others, this may be different. You have to set this properly so you minimize the amount of dropped frames you get during a stream. Having dropped frames is really distracting for the viewers and it really discourages them from watching you. It also limits the interaction that you have with them and it's going to result in a loss of viewers and a loss of frames and both of those things are very bad if you're trying to grow your stream. A great tool for making sure that you're running your stream properly is Twitch Inspector. Just go to Google and type in Twitch Inspector and I'll also have a link down below in the description. You can run a test on your stream and it's going to let you know your bandwidth, what your bitrate is, and it's going to let you know if you're dropping any frames. Number three, adjust your bitrate properly. So this tip kind of covers a couple of things. You want to go down once again to the cogwheel on the bottom left and open it up. Around halfway down the page, you should see an option for bitrate. According to what your Twitch doctor said, you want to set it appropriately. I have mine personally set to 6,000. In addition to this, you want to go to the advanced settings and scroll down until you see dynamic bitrate. You want to have this checked and turned on. What this is going to do is it's automatically going to adjust your bitrate according to your upload speed with your internet. So it's going to help you reduce all those dropped frames if you're getting any. Tip number four. Now listen guys, for this tip, I'm sure everybody that's getting into streaming has heard this at least once. And that's try not to play saturated games like Fortnite, for instance, or Call of Duty. I know that everybody wants to play those games and trust me, I want to play those games too, but the reality of the situation is that there's thousands and thousands of people playing these games and streaming them. And chances are if you have little to no viewers or even if you have 20 viewers, you're still way down the list and you have a thousand people in front of you. Realistically, the chances of somebody going through all those pages, stumbling across your stream and wanting to stay in is very low. And I know that it's hard to find something else when you're really into those kind of games. But that is the reality of the situation, so you need to maximize other avenues to bring people into your stream, whether that be Twitter, YouTube, or something else that you have that's going to help you bring in the audience. It's very unlikely that people are going to scroll through all those pages just to find you. Tip number five. For the last tip of the day, have fun. I know that kind of sounds ridiculous, but it's true. If somebody stumbles into your stream that doesn't know you or they've never seen you before, and you're having a great time, you're laughing, you're talking to people, you're engaging with your chat, they might want to be part of that and they're more likely to stick around. Nobody wants to go into a stream where someone's really sitting quietly and not talking very much. It's not too enjoyable and it really hires a chance that they're just going to leave the stream and move on. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to try to help out a little bit and give you guys some tips to send you in the right direction. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And if you want to see me live, I stream five nights a week over at twitch.tv iconfp. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget, have a nice day. Take care.